YC-141B is a stretch version of the C-141 Lockheed Starlifter. It's 23 feet longer than the standard model. Aerial delivery testing of the YC-141B was conducted at AFSC's Air Force Flight Test Center, Edwards Air Force Base. The YC-141B uses the same dual rail cargo deck as the basic aircraft but it carries three additional 463L cargo pallets. Flight test center people experienced in numerous aerial delivery tests conducted this series. Standard C-141 checklists and procedures were evaluated as satisfactory for the stretch version. Among the tests conducted were extraction parachute tow tests. These included deployment, inflation, towing, and cutaway. This is a cluster of two 28-foot diameter ring slot parachutes. Before live personnel drops, retrieval tests were made of 60 static lines with weighted bags. Tests on articulated dummies reduce the risk of injury. Personnel airdrop tests included two sticks of eight jumpers dropped simultaneously. Army and Air Force jumpers with experience in the basic C-141 were used in these tests. Jumpers commented that there were only slight differences in jumping from the stretch 141 and the basic aircraft. Single platform loads weighing from 2,060 to 34,000 pounds were test dropped. Loads less than 15,000 pounds produced negligible pitch attitude change. More than 15,000 pounds produced definite aircraft pitch up, then pitch down. Aircraft pitch changes were about the same as for the basic C-141. On sequential platform tests, each load extracted the parachute of the next load. Three loads with a total weight of nearly 70,000 pounds were dropped. It took six hours to rig the sequential drop in the aircraft and only 11 seconds for the air drop. The aerial delivery tests were successful. All objectives were met and no problems in platform or personnel air drops were encountered. The YC-141B or Stretch Starlifter brings increased cargo capacity and more effective use of Air Force resources. To further enhance the military airlift command mission, the YC-141B or stretch version of the Lockheed Starlifter was equipped with an aerial refueling capability. At AFSC's flight test center, Aerial refueling tests were flown by eight pilots, including both flight test center and operational pilots from Military Airlift Command. The Stretch 141B with its 23 foot longer fuselage was stable as it approached the boom. Boom operators from the flight test center talked the Stretch into position. Various boom disconnect positions were tested. Center, right, and left. Various relative altitudes were evaluated, as well as combinations of gross weight, center of gravity, and airspeed. 275 knots proved to be the best airspeed for all gross weight combinations. Flight test center boom operators, experienced in numerous refueling tests, worked closely with the YC-141B pilots. Positions were verified by tanker director lights. Some 50 hookups and disconnects were made during the tests to verify the full range of acceptable speeds and positions for refueling. A chase aircraft was used for safety and photo documentation of the YC-141B and AFSC's specially instrumented KC-135 tanker. Among the final tests, a day-night evaluation was made. Receptacle illumination lights provided good visibility. 
YC-141B pilots reported excellent visibility from normal seat positions and no problem maintaining the boom contact position. Boom operators constantly alert for receiver handling problems that could require boom separation reported excellent visibility of the receiving aircraft and the refueling receptacle. The tests were successful and a certified aerial refueling envelope was established. <laughs>